Good morning, your majesties. Merry Christmas Eve. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas Eve, spending time with loved ones. Um, I have a scary story for you guys. Um, it's another imaginary friend story, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, this one is named Scotty. Back when I was in elementary school, my best friend's name was Ryan. We were around six or seven. One day, there was a new kid in our class. His name was Andrew, and he had just moved in from out of state. He was socially awkward and used to sit alone, just talking quietly to himself. The strange thing was he always appeared to be enraged during these conversations with himself. Uh-oh. Ryan and I decided to befriend him, and he invited us over to his house for a sleepover. The whole day went by without incident, and it was all good fun. Andrew seemed different at home. He was more relaxed, more comfortable, more normal. That night, we went to sleep in his bedroom, which was in the basement. I remember lying there on the floor. My buddy Ryan was asleep near me, and Andrew was across the room on the couch. It was dark, and I could only see his outline. All of a sudden, Andrew started making some eerie high-pitched noises. It sounded like a steaming tea kettle. Oh. Oh. Then he stood up, still letting out that high-pitched screeching noise, and I saw him walking towards me. I kicked Ryan to wake him up, and both of us were freaking out. And Andrew, no, Andrew kept walking until he was standing over us. Oh no. Then he just kneeled down and slowly let the screech die out. Ryan and I looked at each other, unsure about what to do. Suddenly, Andrew grabbed our arms and started squeezing like he was trying to crush them. What? Um, sorry about my hair. Um, in a disturbing low voice, he growled, Scotty wants you both to leave. Seriously? I ripped my arm out of his get grasp and so did Ryan. Andrew got up again and just stood there staring at us, letting out a high-pitched evil laugh. We both got up and I suggested going to Andrew's mom's room to wake her up. Before we took a step, Andrew just started screaming at the top of his lungs. His mom came sprinting down the stairs and turned all of the lights on. We saw that Andrew has scratches up and down his arms and his face looked deathly pale. His mom laid him on the ground and held him down. She was trying to speak over his screams and she was saying things like, Andy, Andy, it's okay. Scotty isn't real, Andy. She turned to us and told us to go upstairs and put our coats on. She was going to take us home. For a couple of weeks after that, we didn't talk to Andrew at school. Eventually, we asked him about it and he said, It's okay now. You won't see Scotty anymore. No one will. Needless to say, that was the end of that. And we were, and oh, and we never talked to him again. He ended up getting removed from my school because he attacked a kid with a tree branch at recess. Wow. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna read you guys one more since it's Christmas Eve, so I love you guys. Okay, my daughter, this one's called The Evil. My daughter had some imaginary friends for a couple years named Dodo, Ganna, and the Evil. They just sort of appeared out of nowhere. When she was almost three years old, it started 
with Dodo and Ganna. Then a few months later, she came up to me with the creepy expressionless face, told me, the evil is coming over today and just walked away. It turned out that the evil was actually a nice imaginary friend. She just had an, un an unfortunate name. Oh, all right. <laughs> um, let me know if you guys enjoyed these stories. Um, and like I said in yesterday's video, if you guys have had any imaginary friend stories, please put them down in the comments. I really, I really want to know. I really would like to know about them. Um, so uh, anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for this month. You guys have made this month super fun for me. And tomorrow is going to be a really special video because I'm going to be reacting to um, videos, to my old videos from when I was extremely overweight. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm excited to see how far I've come and to show you guys how far I've come. So I hope you guys are ready for that video. King Father and Mommy Majesty are going to help me film that. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And Merry Christmas Eve, you guys. I love you guys so much. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.